Je suis une bonne compagnie. Ah tu l'as Attends, je vais regarder tous les gens. Ah non plus. Pourquoi c'est pas rentré Ah non, je vais ramener. Oh les gars. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Um, I gonna introduce myself first. I'm Mila. I'm come from Belgium and I'm currently in Korea for six months. So how did that happen? I gonna explain it in this video. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Gotcha. I just wanted to say that I'm not an English native speaker, I'm a French native speaker, so you might hear from my accent and I'm gonna do, I think, that I'm gonna make some mistake, so sorry in advance. I started to, to be interested about Korea, I think, four years ago. Uh, I started to watch K-dramas and listen to K-pop. And I fell in love first with the food. I thought that that looked really delicious and I wanted to try. Then I started to like uh, the cities, um, the streets. I thought that it was like beautiful. And last year with my best friend, we wanted to go to Korea for a trip during the summer break. But came the coronavirus, so our plane got cancelled obviously and during the lockdown I started to learn Korean by myself because after three years of um, watching K-dramas I started to a little bit um, understand little words little sentences so I wanted to to improve and then while I was learning I'm still learning now but during the lockdown I said why not going to Korea but for a longer time than only holiday sorry and I know that in my university we can do Erasmus it's a European thing so it, like it's a, an exchange student program during your uh, university your bachelor or your master and so my university had a partnership with two universities in Korea, Iwa University and uh, Sogang University. A lot of people want to go to Korea, so I, I had to work hard to have good grades so that I can be on the top place to go there. And I had to do my TOEFL also. Uh, TOEFL was, I think, the hardest test I ever took because um, it was so much stress. It was like about, I think, four or five hours and I had like 10 minutes of breaks break um, so I registered for uh, Korea when the registration day uh, arrived my first choice was Sogang de Hakyo I waited I think one week and a half and then we learned where we were going to that day I learned that not I had been accepted by the Korean University and that I can go to Korea in Sogang University. My first choice, I was so happy, I, I, I felt that. I started all the administri administration things. I think it's the most annoying thing that from my whole journey I had to do insurance, I had to register at Sogong de Hakyo, I had to book my flight, to book my quarantine because right now I'm in my quarantine, I had to do my visa, I had to go to the Korean embassy in Brussels first to, to give all my paper and then I had to come back one week later to receive my visa. I had to do a tuberculosis test, skin test, because um, I'm going to stay at the Sogang dorms, university dorms. So I needed to prove that I don't have um, tuberculosis. And then I started to say goodbye to my friends and my family and relatives. It wasn't that a big deal because this is not the first time that I'm going abroad for a long time. I've already been in uh, the Philippines for 10 months, 
three years ago, and it was way more um, sad and heartbreaking to to say goodbye to my uh, relatives. But now I'm kind of got used to it, and so it wasn't a big deal for me to say goodbye to the people. I actually didn't really um, felt like feel like I was leaving for a long time. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, I said goodbye to my friend, my family, and then I had to pack. I had so many things that I wanted to take, and I had to leave things because I didn't have any space for them. So I had to do my PCR test. This really annoying PCR test because 24 hours before um, my flight, uh, Qatar Air Airways Air Airlines, or I don't know, Qatar, uh, sent me an email. The PCR paper must be in English, must have my full um, name uh, from my passport, should have uh, my passport uh, number and all those things, a stamp, an issue, and I didn't have all this. And it was f 24 hours before my flight. So I was really annoyed, really, really, really annoyed. So I had to call, I had to go to the hospital to have my paper down. Next day, the day that I took my fly, Qatar uh, sent me an another email at, that has to be fully in English. The paper has to be fully in English. But my paper wasn't fully in English, so I was super scared that the Qatar said, oh no, you, you cannot go. I was really stressed, actually. But it did pass because I'm here happy. So then I said goodbye to my, to my mom after the PCR check and the checking of my luggage and take the plane, first plane to Doha and then the second plane to Incheon. I can make a video only talking about um, my Incheon airport experience, yeah, because I spent like four or four hours there and then I arrive in my quarantine. So that's it and I hope that you're gonna follow my 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 journey here, my my semester abroad in Korea. I think that I'm gonna uh, film a lot because that makes um, souvenir and memories for me. So I hope you follow my my life. So yeah, thank you and bye. See you to my uh, Korean quarantine um, vlog. See you. Bye. Annyeong.